Yeah, it was a little bit risky that, but both players still feeling their way and he's usually pretty good at that type of shot, but it's early days yet. One. As we all dad we used to say that wipes its feet, but it went in. I mean, we always see these types of matches, Dennis, don't we? But I think it's imperative that Stuart Bingham gets a good start. Seven. I think if Ronnie gets a, a two or three frame advantage early on, it'd be very hard for Stuart to peg him back. But got a chance here now to, to score a few. Eight. But he's misjudged the pace of the cue ball off the second red and close to that cushion. Doesn't make the next shot any easier. Yeah, absolutely eight. right, JV. Just showing you. Missing that yellow that would have been... An easy pot had the white have finished where Stuart wanted, not on the cushion. They've gone a little bit awkward here, the balls at the moment. Look at the green up this end of the table. Yellow and blue near the ball cushion. One. And straight away, Five. Ronnie getting himself up. To the black spot area. Six. Well, that's a bonus, the fact that the pink passes the red, because the black's blocked into one corner pocket at the moment. So it's a good chance now. In fact, it's a, a very good chance. Twelve. Thirteen. Nice if you can in there after putting the pink, just nudging the reds into the open. He'd be disappointed 19. now if he didn't win the frame at this visit. And that's just what he needed. And I think that's going to be the, the difference here. It's who scores. We know Ronnie's capable of winning every frame in one visit. 20. Stuart Bingham's had a couple of chances, just didn't have that cue ball under tight control and it found him out. And as you say, Dennis, you won't expect Ronnie to not win the frame from here now. And Stuart looks on. Still causing just a slight problem, the fact that black doesn't pass the red, We're only having to play for the pink. But when we talk about Ronnie and well, numerous people have been saying who's going to win this year's World Championship, it's all about Ronnie and how focused he can keep himself. And last year here, 34. he was amazing. He was so focused throughout last year's World Championship. In fact, in the semi-final against Stephen Hendry, the second session, Stephen Hendry said he'd never seen snooker like it. But that was last year. <coughs> 41. 
40 points the lead, so red colour red would be sufficient. 42. He'd have to go up for the brown, couldn't hold for the pink, but he's got a, a decent angle on the brown, but as you say, the, there's no red that's out in the open, and he still needs the the other red after the brown. There you see it. 45 ahead, 51 remaining. Pot the red, go 46, 46. ahead with only 43 remaining. 47. And easily done with the opposite hand. He looks just the same playing left handed as he does right handed. So this is a pretty good start for the defending champion. 54. 55. It wasn't a bad effort, was it? 61. Ronnie Sullivan, 61. So it was and a break of 61. That was uh, enough to give the defending champion the opening frame and he leads 1-0. Well, John, as I mentioned there about Ronnie and keeping focused, uh, I think that's the name of the game with Ronnie, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, Dennis. But uh, I, I, I don't know how you feel, but over the last couple of seasons, I think he's been very good. I, I, there hasn't been any tantrums and things like that. And, of course, to win the Masters with a cue that he'd only picked up the few days before was just extraordinary. I think that, that, that was a typical example. It gave him something to, to focus on and, and, and kept him concentrating. And he, he is remarkable to watch and to commentate on. And, of course, I was lucky enough to play against him on a good few occasions. Yeah, I think it's one of those things. It's, it's going to be it's a long 17 days, isn't it? You know, and the easier you can have your matches early on, the better. But Stuart Bingham is no walkover.